fucking talk golden to me. It's my dream to have a golden beard. <laughs> Younger but looks older. I'll even try a squat. Here we go. The, uh, the uh, six of clubs. The golden. Welcome to another episode of the Talk Golden to Me video podcast show. Your host, Evan Golden, a.k.a. Golden TV. As always, our studio is here at the law offices of Berman & Berman. You know Golden TV loves his television, but when it comes to television specifically, I'm just addicted to reality TV. I think we all are. I think when it comes to reality TV, it's kind of better than sitcoms because it's real. And it is real. We're going to find out directly from a cast member of one of my favorite shows on Bravo. I think Bravo is like the best network for reality television. But in the studio with me, you see him if you are watching and not just listening. We have Joao Franco. I love just saying your name. Joao, Joao. Am I saying that right? <laughs> you are indeed. Man, right. it just gets me like fired up, man. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to talk a little about Below Deck Mediterranean, some of your castmates, and just see what's good in your life, man, besides looking like a, a famous model. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Would you, is your agent booking you on other stuff with that's that a, smile? That's a negative, but I, I should probably look into it. Come on, they got to be putting you to work. Life once, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So, welcome to our studios, man. We appreciate you coming on in here. We wanted Thank to you. talk to you. And, uh, man, below deck minute. How did you get on the show? Uh, good question. I, when I first started yachting, um, I was approached by someone on Facebook, and uh, myself and my brother actually went through quite a few stages of uh, getting to. To the last stage and we declined it for another a job um, I did the job for a year and a half a couple, two boats and then they kept asking me to come back on or at least to to at least throw my name in the hat again mm -hmm. and I declined it until it just so happened that when they had asked me I would just resigned from a boat and it was a week after I'd resigned that they wanted me on and yeah, I, I decided to go for it. Wow. So the, it was kind of like meant to be, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> so what was this experience like for you, you know, joining a mega yacht and, and not just, you know, working, but having cameras in your faces, yeah. having, you know, crazy guests? The first time is overwhelming for is sure. It, yeah. um, you know, when we, when we come on board, we don't know who we're dealing with. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know if it's going to be, you know, like a normal boat. I'd never watched the show previous to that. Um, and you just you don't know anything and you get on and you go um all we're told is uh about the fourth wall which you're we're not supposed to be speaking speaking to anyone other than our crewmates and yeah go so yeah, and after probably like a day or two you probably just you ignore the cameras right you forget absolutely that they're not there. You oh you don't no, absolutely no. Well, i think it's because it's such close quarters the only time you forget the, where the, that the cameras are there is when you are out there's <laughs> no other time <laughs> wow because it's kind of small area and you, absolutely yeah. you're like kind of tone your job and getting yeah. bumped into that you got the audio guy you got the camera guy yeah. so yeah very cool man yeah so no regrets though joining the show? Absolutely none. None. None whatsoever. All the mistakes, all the all the good, everything. No regrets. What? What? I can't. What? What is there to regret? It's kind of a dream. <laughs> it's kind of a dream job, isn't it? It's a dream job. Um, doing the show itself, there's a lot that one can learn about themselves in watching. You know, the, the what the final outcome of of the the season. You know. Um, yeah, there was a lot that I had to learn, and it was interesting, very interesting. You always have a passion for water, yachts, boating. I know you grew up in Zimbabwe. Well, ironic because it's a landlocked country. That's um, why I was. That's why I had to. <laughs> that's why I had to put this together. Well, I've I've always been, you know, uh, a water baby. I'd say. Um, mm -hmm. My dad lives in Mozambique, so we spent a lot of time in Mozambique fishing um, around the sea. All our neighboring countries have amazing coastlines. So, um, yeah, I guess. At the well, I had heard about yachting and then got straight into it without real. I thought of it more as a, of a job mm -hmm. than um, than a passion, I guess, and it's become both. What about your castmates? These women are beautiful. Is it hard to kind of? I don't want to say the wrong word here. Did you watch the first season? <laughs> um, beautiful yeah. on the outside, maybe. No, well, I, I mean, everyone has has their uh, you know, every every person's different. But you get all types of people on camera, off camera. Yeah. In yachting, we are very multicultural. So one boat I was on, there were 13 of us as crew, and there were 11 different cultures. Um, you learn a lot from people in close from, in close quarters, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a melting melting pot of the sea. You guys are all coming from different parts of the country, coming together. Exactly, yeah. M my favorite part of the show always is when, when it's tip time and you kind of see your faces <laughs> start dimming yeah. it out. I love that. Yeah. No, I, I mean, that's also <laughs> a, a huge perk 
um certainly to, to this yeah you you enjoy your time you have an amazing time and then you get paid for it <laughs> what could go wrong that's why i thought it was like a dream job yeah it's still a lot of hard work though a lot of hard it's not work. just easy play what i mean i i have this thing of uh sending an Instagram picture, for example, of the life we're having and then getting <laughs> up and making the sunbed that I just put for someone else. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. What's Sandy Yon like? She's amazing. She's a really good uh, mentor. Um, I, you know, she's actually put me up to where I am now. Um, I've, I've been a captain for a year now. And she got me my first job. And uh, yeah, I've, I've excelled since then. It's been, it's been great. I feel like her and, and, and um, Captain Lee are like, would be the ultimate couple or you think they'd butt heads if they were single it's it's a good question i think um if they were single <laughs> uh, you know, they they are completely contrasting to each other you know everyone has their own way of of uh leading and i think you can learn a lot from the both of them that's great you seem yeah. to have like a good positive attitude man uh, like I Glass said, half nothing. full? <laughs> and it's always full. There's no such thing as half full. That's great, man. What do you think? Uh, we had Colin on the show not too long ago. What do you think yeah. of Colin and his rap career? Do you think he should pursue music more? Definitely. I, I've yeah. spoken to him about, um, you know, at, at least following his his um, his degree. Uh, he can teach a lot of people, and, and he's really good at what he does. Um, as You know, his instrument uh, work is amazing. Um, yeah, I, I wrote a little rap for him the other day. It was hilarious. Did I, you? I didn't realize how difficult it would, be, it would be. I put the words right, but uh, actually spitting it out wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> Writing it's one part. Performing it, exactly. beat, lyri- that, that's the hard part. That's exactly. when you got to have some type of like <laughs> lyrical music. I'm a little deaf yeah, yeah. tone myself, I, so. My, my tongue stumbles. <laughs> In rapping, I mean. <laughs> Don't get naughty on me here, sir. <laughs> What's your per? You're single, right? Negative. You, I, no, I don't see a ring on the finger. Uh, no ring, but not single. All right. I, hey, listen, if you're not married in my book, I've been married like 13, 14 years. Okay. I consider it single. <laughs> you see. going ring shopping this holiday season? That's a negative so far. All right. but you don't let know. her watch this. She's going to get upset. She was hopeful. Maybe. No, no, no. We, we've been great so far. We've been together for just... Is it hard, though, now. when you're traveling and working and, and people coming up to you asking for pictures? Uh, you know, she's taken it really well. And sure. that's uh, that's one of the main things that I was worried about. Um, she She's really good with, you know, every time I go out, she understands. She she holds it, all the girls' bags, and get, takes the photo for us. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, yeah, no, I, I really appreciate her for it. <laughs> that's great. Hey, listen, because sometimes that, that's the difficult part when you're dealing with someone in the spotlight, a TV personality. Jealousy sometimes come into Huge. play. Yeah. And, um it takes a confident woman to, to be with someone. So uh, I'm glad to hear that, yeah. man. <laughs> happy. You seem very happy. So that, that's, that's excellent news. That's good. That's good. Unbelievable. So Below Deck Mediterranean, what season are they on now? What, what, what's coming up now? I, mean, I know Below Deck, I think, the original, like on season seven. And now yeah. Med, so where are we at? The Med will be the fifth season coming out. Yeah. It's crazy, man. The, the, the whole Bravo and reality just craze just like is exploding. I think when I just yes. think of Bravo, I think of reality TV. Did you have a chance to go to uh, BravoCon? Yes, I was invited. I was uh, part of part of the whole ordeal and it was it was ordeal incredible. sounds like the perfect adjective for that <laughs> yeah how was that was it just insane you know, for their first time it was really well put together mm-hmm. um i think just in the fact that the tickets were sold out so quickly explains everything for it you know um we we had the pleasure of i had the pleasure of meeting people i never knew we had a room full of 90 bravo liberties that they'd call them i love that terminology and, uh, yeah I, I realized you uh, how um how much of an impact our show has as well when when people knew who i was i was very very um overwhelmed i guess who like um, came up to you and was like i love your show i love you and you were just like you watch don't, don't make me repeat names because <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell me what no, show I'm they're just, from uh don't make me repeat shows. Uh. <laughs> i mean everyone did uh all the all the, the, guys, all the housewives were coming up to you the housewives not so much they had their own thing going on um and the guys were awesome all of the guys were really cool um we, it was funny because at some stage um we were asked myself and colin to myself and colin were asked to uh, meet at a certain designation point uh, at 9.15 p.m. By 9.10, we were there because as Yachties, we know that that's what we're supposed to do. We're <laughs> supposed to be there five minutes before. 
everyone else is paid to not abide by the rules so <laughs> <laughs> everyone was everywhere it was chaos but it was it was organized chaos it was really cool i definitely have to attend that next year they'll probably be doing this like regular once yeah, a year now I right think with the success it had it's going to be great what's your thoughts on andy cohen what's he like i i really enjoy him you know the first the first um the first season uh, at the reunion, I, I broke down a bit, and uh, he had come out afterwards and kind of he, he was quite comforting. And then, uh, yeah, he sent me a, a text a few days later saying, you know, I, I'm sorry to to open a, a a sore wound, you know, and kind of thing. And I, I really appreciated that for him because he didn't have to reach out at all. And since then, yeah, he's been great, except he thought I was a stripper <laughs> <laughs> and not Ashton when we went the last time. And I was like, no, I can be, but not today, I not professionally. That, I think that's the <laughs> kind of the difficult side of being in reality TV. It, it, listen, we're not just showing all the good. You have to sometimes share some yeah. of your, 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 your adversity and, and your negative aspects in life. Is that hard to kind of be completely transparent and open up to the fans and the viewers. <laughs> You're not, no one's okay. perfect. No, 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 of course. I mean, you, you may think that you are. And then when you watch yourself, even then you're not so sure. You're like, Oh, that, mm -hmm. that was cool. That was all right. You know, I wasn't too bad. And then with the reaction you get, it's insane. You, you really, you take a step back and you kind of try and piece things together as to, you know, how you can change. And that, that's all, personal i mean a lot of people get defensive when they, they look great on tv mm -hmm. that they, they lap it up and they're happy about it when they look crap on tv they blame the editing and it, it, it works both ways you, you're you, if you think that it's editing you look good because it's editing accept it and if you think that it's editing and you look bad accept it too so hey, it's still the words coming out of your mouth though i mean editing can only control so much so the, the one thing i appreciate about below deck is that it is real and you know regardless of what anyone says i think we just got a uh, ninth rating uh, for reality tv shows um and in knowing people and in, in speaking to a lot of people off other shows and you know not to mention the shows but i can guarantee that below deck is real and they, they have i think it works out to like 350 to 400 hours drop down to 40 minutes worth of an episode and is it I mean, exciting? You, you mentioned that. So are there like, or do you do watch parties? Because you don't know what they're going to air and what they're going to broadcast. So you're probably on pins and needles. They're filming for weeks at a time. Well, that's the best part about Watch What Happens Live is because you don't know the next episode coming and then they show you a couple of previews. And I'm, I'm stressy. I'm like trying to phone people and like, what what is the next episode about so I can defend myself? <laughs> but again, you just, it's a ride. You know, it, it's, it comes, it goes as quick as it comes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think for the second season that I've done, people are less, that they approach me less because I think they think that I'm a, of a higher status, which I don't feel, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's again, it's just, it's a, it's a ride. <laughs> There's a, a good description, man. Yeah, a roller coaster ride. <laughs> hopefully not, hopefully no one's getting too sick on these rides. No, Mentally. Well, I mean, it can be mentally challenging. I think that it's very strategic. Uh, the, the, duration of the the entire show is just enough for you guys to be either friends or sick to death of each other and possibly harmful if you were to spend another week on board <laughs> they say on the website that you when you join the show that you were looking for a fresh start what do you think they meant by that uh moving from my country mm -hmm. um when i left uh you know not to, to put myself on a pedestal, but I was very well known. Um, I had a very successful business and uh, it came to a, a sudden halt very quickly um, because of the country, the economical state of the country. So uh, in you know employing 10 of my friends, including my brother, uh, supporting my family back home, it came to a point where I, I had to leave. And, and that was, I think, the scariest thing because I'd never left Southern Africa. And in going to France for the first time with just a backpack after being at home with, in an amazing house with my family and friends living in the same place, um, in the same community, because I could afford that for everyone. Um, I had, you know, five dogs, three cats, uh, four pythons. It was one of my 
things that you know uh, yeah, love story. I hate, I hate snakes. <laughs> yeah, um, you didn't no, bring any, right? No, negative. Okay. Not besides the one in this bag here. No. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the one in your pants. Oh, wait, oh you like, know you what? Got the, I, you got the I producers all excited besides, there. I started it besides, and I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna even start this. <laughs> we got a lot of women in the studio that couldn't yeah. wait to meet you and the, and the production assistants. Uh, so I don't don't get that. them too wild yet. <laughs> early in the show, man. Speaking of snakes, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, too soon. Um, yeah, so I I, I left and. Uh, I think with perseverance, as as I can't say it's entirely luck. I want to believe that we, you know, put ourselves in a situation where we were bound to get a job. Myself and my brother, we got into a boat together. Um, within the first three and a half months, I got my uh, time to get my captain's ticket. So I had my captain's ticket, uh, smaller vessels, three and a half months into uh, my yachting career. Um, now after this year, I've managed to do all my courses, uh, for my, um, officer of the watch. And then after April, uh, 12 months from April, I do my master 3000 and that's the highest level of captaincy. Congratulations. So, yeah, awesome job. That's all in a matter that... of three years. <laughs> yeah. Messing around. No, I'm not messing around. I, I think the drive from back home and from what I had to what I know I want is, is you've, is you've already accomplished it once. So exactly. you, you kind of have the recipe and it seems you have that work yeah. ethic and the Sink right drive. And like we said, the right, <laughs> right attitude. Yeah. What else do you have cooking? I know you're also working with stars marketing. You got any yes. good promotions, good events, but I mean, this, the, the future's the limit. I'd like to hear what you have in store Absolutely. in 2020. Um, so I've started a company. Uh, it's called MVAC. It's uh, emergency vacuum system, uh, well, emergency vacuum services, and it's for bilge and tank cleaning for vessels. Um, it was so far, it's been great. We had a couple of ups and downs in the beginning due to competition, um, but that's all been ironed out. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, for me, I think of myself as an entrepreneur and um, I, I'd like to find any loophole or any market that I can get into um, because I think my, my prime years, I would like to believe, aren't when I was 18, but they're now. Um, I didn't think that I would be in America and known from being in Zimbabwe and infamous rather than a little bit famous. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? You seem so young. I'm 29. You baby, yeah, baby. That's what everyone says. I started my life at twenty-two. <laughs> hey, the thirties are the prime, man. So oh, yeah. you got you got a whole good decade ahead of you. That's good to hear. <laughs> I promise you that. Uh -huh. Well, that's awesome stuff. I didn't know you had that entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, so yeah. I wish you best of luck again, with that business. With, with Stars Marketing and and everyone that I'm I'm trying to pull together, I've got this huge um, opportunity which may uh, come about in the beginning of next year. Um, I've got a couple of auditions for a uh, Netflix series, two Netflix series. So, I mean, I, I diversify, just do whatever I can, you know. Putting um, your foot in different areas. Exactly. Bro. That's great. <laughs> Good areas. <laughs> and it seems, you know, you were talking about BravoCon and me and everyone, and it seems that all the Bravo, Ele what is it, Bravo, Ele oh, I can't say Bravo that. Liberties. Thank you very That's much. The one. <laughs> you guys all support each other with your businesses or your products, your social media. So I kind of like that the whole network yes. is kind of like one big fraternity yeah i mean of recent we had um uh this lady who was a, a huge uh bravo fan and it was amazing to see how everyone got together to to send her love and support you know mm -hmm. that's a big thing because we we need a you know a lot more of that um it depends on the show i think i'm not so sure of any other show but you do have situations where people forget about the life they live and then live in the moment of when that episode comes out and i i obviously don't believe in that at all um so you know i've had a couple of issues with a couple of people and i just feel like they forget the the real you know when you're in i mean the show is real but you're in a in a vicinity where like everything can get very vile you're in close proximity of each other you can't leave each other you have cameras you have it's all overwhelming the moment you get off you have to forget that that's what it was and kind of meet each other again otherwise you forget that you know people should i mean everyone's real in some way there's there's always pros and cons um but yeah i think everyone overall supports each other any crazy fan moments at BravoCon or just out with with your girlfriend i would I, I was surprised as a whole to be honest i think with the um, the overwhelming applause that we got um you know, i was very happy to be one of the selected to go uh it was it was awesome i um i think it just in standing in one place and everyone they're like 
throwing me phones to take photos of them in the background with their phone. And then I, w- I ended up with like five phones. I was just throwing <laughs> everyone phones back when they had different, I don't know. You know, it was, uh, it was incredible. And I hate saying, well, I can't say no. When people are like, can I take a photo? Of course. Can I take a photo? Of course. Everyone, it, it just gets overwhelming and you don't want it to be. But at the same time, there were just so many people that were, were fans. But so. you know how much it means to them. It takes a couple seconds. You know, I, it, it does discourage me when I do see like some celebrities and a fan's been maybe waiting for them or Absolutely. dying. And it will take that celebrity one second one to second. sign something, take a quick selfie and make make their, not day, month, yes, year. Absolutely. And they'll tell their friend. Like, so. I, 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 I take both, both sides. I never say no honest to god I, I don't but i can understand how it gets annoying man it's not that it's annoying but one second and you know 100 seconds 200 seconds 300 seconds in a day will add up so you yeah. open the you open the door it's the exactly. floodgates yeah. do for all I mean, you got to do for i enjoy all. it I, I you know i know again it, it goes as quick as it comes so it make hay while the sun shines <laughs> hey great attitude man good Thanks. golden this is what i call look what i got here Oh, there we go. What's that? These are my uh, these are my I, golden nuggets. Can I can I eat them? <laughs> I have something you could eat, but you have to play a game first. You know what's I, what's funny is um, when I left my country, I could not leave with cash, um, and I didn't know what credit cards or accounts were. I could only leave with gold coins. Um, so I had ten gold coins, uh, souvenirs that I'd had saved back home for any given moment, and yeah, I managed. To, I spent four gold coins and I've still got six so I was really happy about that <laughs> all right nice how much is one yeah. gold coin worth in in American money do you know a thousand two hundred dollars thousand three hundred dollars nice mm-hmm. I want a gold so, coin I yeah, think yeah. that those hold value too that well they do there's a they, they do hold value and it's it's a great souvenir <laughs> I, a gold coin would fit very well in the studio you didn't bring me one I uh guess. no but I brought snakes. Do you like carry? You don't carry like gold. Like so, in your wallet, you have no like bills. You like gold coins in your wallet. Yeah, I got I got all sorts of my car. You'd be yeah, you'd be scared. That's <laughs> Anything so funny. to get me out of jail. All right, so you can't eat the gold nuggets, but I okay. will let you eat some gold. But you have to play a game with me first. Okay, are Are you ready to play a game Absolutely. though? You sure? I think so. It's a little. It, little, it is a little work. scary though. So it's called word for word. Okay. I'm gonna say maybe someone's name, maybe an object, and you just have to say the first word that comes to your mind. Uh, pretty easy, right? I've got a thousand words already, so I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't even said anything yet. You can't <laughs> know, lie, though. Scary. Brutally honest. Brutally honest. I'm going to do a little spin, though, with this episode or the, of okay. Word for Word. I'm not just – sometimes I say, like, a state. Sometimes I say Zimbabwe. You'd say home. I'm only saying the castmates of Below Mediterranean Deck. Okay. All right. Say the first word that comes to your mind. Here we are, Word for Word, with Jay Wow Franco from Below Deck Mediterranean. I'm going to say someone's name. Say the first word that comes to your mind. Do not lie. Producer, give me that game show background music that I love when we play this. I hear it. I hear it. All right. Say the first word that comes to your mind. Ready? Ben Robinson. Eccentric. Jack. He's not as lazy. He's, he's hilarious. All right. We'll go yeah, with yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Travis. Uh, confused. <laughs> Anastasia. Say it. You're thinking it. Very confident. Confident. <laughs> he might have lied on that one, viewers and listeners. Well, it's it's not it's not egotistic. She is confident. Hey, so, hey it's very easy sometimes to mix up <laughs> exactly. cockiness, confidence. Yeah, yeah. So I like that. Aisha. Oh. Oh, here I have a thousand words. <laughs> <laughs> um. Overwhelming. Ooh. Mm. Colin. I, I just think of friendship. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Mila. Steak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, yeah. Steak. Steak. How is that steak prepared? <laughs> well, by licking, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hannah. I think I'm more confused on, on that one than. Hannah is caught up. Caught up. Yeah. Oof, I like that. Caught up. I can't think of the one word, but just caught up. Caught Sandy. Up the show as a whole. Sandy on. Sandy is compassionate. Andy Cohen. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Lee. Um, Stern. Stern. That was word for word. You got 100%. You passed. Congratulations. <laughs> Job much. well done. My game made happy, by the way. <laughs> Hannah, why'd you say she's caught up while I get your gold? Uh, I think she, she she gets caught up in the show. Um, gotcha. You know, she's done it for a, a few years. 
it's it's hard for us. I think the hardest thing for us to try and explain to the audience is what yachting is really like against, you know, how people feel they should be morally. You mm. know, it, it's a really, really tough industry. I, an example is if you make the slightest mistake, you don't necessarily get fired straight away on the show. But if you make the slightest mistake in yachting, there's a 99% chance you will just get fired. You know, so that goes against what people believe should happen. So there's a little more leniency with the show, you're saying? Leniency, yes. But um, again, at the same time, you know, if, if you say something to someone, it's because if you don't say anything at all, then there's no show. Um, so you have to speak your mind. Otherwise, there's nothing to speak about. There's no, you know. Um, whereas I think in a normal environment, you would contain yourself and think about what you want to say before you say it. Yeah. Listen, it's, the producers know what they want to get out of, <laughs> get out of the cast. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a show. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, all our guests, I do feed them actual real gold oh, to yeah? put in their body. And this fills you with... <laughs> Richness. Don't you get that in like a an ouzo bottle or something? Yeah, like uh, like the, what's what's the the gold schlager on the bottom? Of that here's a little piece for you. <laughs> is that real gold? This is real twenty four karat gold, and I'm gonna eat a piece with you. Okay. This will nice. change your life forever. Look at you already. Air air's better. I was gonna say I've had your snake is bigger. To smuggle, but that's not. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Only for the guests on the Talk Gold to Me video podcast do we feed you actual gold. Thank you very much. Hey, you earned it and you deserved it with your 100% on word for word. You were brutally honest. Brutally and we honest. appreciate that. Yep. I think Mila might get mad at you, though, with the steak comment. Yeah, you know what? I, one thing that I don't think people know is that she there was a, a, a high chance that she could have uh, had that part of the show re retracted, mm -hmm. and she said no. She said she'll stick by what she said, which is fair play. You know, people don't realize, again, culturally, nobody knows what anyone's been through. And there was a part on that that I'd spoken to her about, you know, previous to previous to her leaving. Just before she left, I'd spoken to her to try and explain to her that regardless of her beliefs, uh, you know, within an industry that she's in at the moment, some some of that you just you can't just blurt out you know mm -hmm. and it went I, I explained to her about uh my mom's best friend that had passed away um for for those reasons it's illegal to be gay at home um and you know with i think with the pressure of where she's come from it, nobody really knows what she's had to go through or you know what's made her feel that way so yeah well I'll tell you what, Jay, you keep it real. And that's what I like, man. You keep it 100 and, 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 and you say what's on your mind. And I think that's why the fans have fallen deeply in love with you on the show. Because sometimes it is, you know the cameras are there and you sometimes, even though it is a reality, yeah. you kind of sometimes play it up or, or you know, feed into that. So yeah, it, is, it is easy to kind of fall into that. And, and I know your personal path in life hasn't been the easiest, right? No, not at all. Um, but at the same time, with, with I think I am very positive person I've had the most amazing life and I, again not to not to put a downer on this but I'd rather have gone through everything I've been through than somebody you know who's been I don't know a one limb short or no sight or I, I'm still here so yeah with a lot more to go man we're excited for 2020 we're ending the decade strong here yeah. can't wait to see your invention explode and I wish you the best of luck with the Netflix series. I, I can't see them passing up on. on this <laughs> well, I, I need to learn how to act first of all. You got <laughs> and it. To stop smiling and stop laughing and be serious. That's you impossible. can do it. Boom! A little snap. <laughs> there, see, you got it. <laughs> it lasted about one split second. That's <laughs> well, we appreciate yeah. you stopping in here, man. I know that uh, South Florida's got a lot of adventures, a lot of entertainment. So yes. it's taking some time away from the lifestyle here and and sit with us. I know you got businesses to run and fans <laughs> to reply to on social media and. Uh, Absolutely. You're a great guy, and I just wish you all the best, man, for sure. Much. I just I appreciate it. wish what you wish for. That's that's how it is. Well, I dream of being a superhero, so I'll make you my... <laughs> Who is your favorite superhero? You like a Marvel uh, or DC guy? Tough. I, I think a little bit of... I'm a variety type of person, so, you know, I don't know. I don't have a favorite. 
It's like I don't have a favorite color. You have to have combinations of colors. You can't have one favorite color. I Although agree. I think yours is gold. I'm just saying. A hundred percent right. A hundred percent right. With the last name Golden, I fully yeah. embraced it. But what I try to do with it is just share golden energy and golden Very positive nice. aura to people. So That's I've it. I've taken taken that route. So viewers and listeners, we always appreciate your time for joining us, whether you are listening or watching. We of course appreciate it. Like, subscribe, share this segment, promotes the show, helps us bring on awesome reality TV stars like my man over here. So, again, we always appreciate your time for joining us. As always, we're here at the law office of Berman Berman. Give the viewers any, any golden nuggets, any wisdom you could share with them before we sign off. Some words to live by, something you learned as a young boy in Zimbabwe that you've passed on from generation and you will instill in your life. Um, yes. Always say yes. <laughs> Always say yes. <laughs> Always say yes. Don't ever, ever, you know, put down a moment. Don't ever say no because of something. Just always say yes. Do it. At least you've done it. If you if you regret it, you would regret not doing it, you know. So, yeah. Hey, so I'm yes. all about that. I don't say no. I just no. go. Yeah. And that, go. that's my that's my thing. I hate the Except word no. red lights. Red lights on. you you got to stop. <laughs> that's when you do your social media. Yeah, yeah. You got like your two minutes. <laughs> check, like. I saw a police bingo. officer doing that the other day. I was like, you are you sure <laughs> all right so ladies don't stop saying no say yes that's not for you that's for everybody everybody <laughs> i love that i love that golden nugget right there some wisdom and we appreciate your time like i said but we gotta go we're out of here peace say cheers. goodbye to them thank they you love so you much. appreciate it thank you i love that cheers how's my accent cheers. Wait, what's the zimbabwe accent english it is english yeah. what? very very english how's my i can only say what aluminium <laughs> It's aluminium. Are you calling me fat? Chicky thing. <laughs> I didn't say it. Oh, God. I'll suck in there. We're out of here. Bye-bye.